is in Matthew chapter 9, 27, when Jesus was departed, thence two blind men followed him, crying and saying, Thou son of David, have mercy on us. Yes. And how long they followed, we don't know. How long they cried out, we don't know. Uh -oh. But we do know that there was something, amen, in their spirit, in their heart, that followed after the Lord. Yes. Blind. Yes. Oh, How do you follow somebody when you're blind? Right. How do, you, how do you do that? Come on. But then they cry. Have mercy on us. Yes. Hallelujah. A pleading. Yes. <coughs> Excuse me, a crying out to God. Amen. And sometimes there's almost a, a begging. Is it Mark 9 27? Or Mark 9 20 rather. And they brought him, brought unto him. And when he saw him straightway, the spirit tear him and fell on the ground and wallowed foaming. And he asked his father, how long is it ago since this came unto him? And he said, of a child. And oftentimes it hath cast him into the fire and into the waters to destroy him. But if thou canst do anything, have compassion on us and help us. And Jesus said unto him, if thou canst believe. Yes. Are you listening? Yes. If thou canst believe, all things are possible to him that believeth. Yes. All right. There's a point that I feel click in the spirit to make. The question Jesus asked him, how long is it ago since this came unto him? Again, we get back to what I mentioned earlier. It doesn't matter how long you've had it. Come on. It doesn't matter how long you've carried it. It doesn't matter how long ago it came on you. Jesus can take care of it. Yes. Oh, yeah. In just a moment. Oh, yeah. Praise oh, God. And just a word. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. Jesus. Hallelujah. If you can believe all things are possible to him that believeth. Yes. Are you with me this morning? All uh, things are possible. Oh, yeah. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. All things are yes. To heal that believer. Amen. And we see in verse 24 the honesty and the sincerity of this father for his child. He said with tears, looking over at his child, who's perhaps a teenager now, seeing his child, he better continue torment. Amen. By these spirits, amen, of sickness. Amen. Try to destroy him, the father said. He said he cried out with tears. And this is where we find ourselves at times. I believe. Help thou mine unbelief. Oh, yes. I do believe. Yes. Amen. I've witnessed other miracles that you've done for other people. Amen, and I do know you can. Glory to God. But I'm not quite sure you will. Help my unbelief. Yes. Because I've witnessed, amen, of the tragedy, amen, of my child. I've witnessed, amen, and foaming at the mouth, falling on the ground, having these seizures. Amen, I've witnessed him. Amen, the spirit's trying to throw him in the fire, into the water to try to destroy him. I've seen it so long. Huh? All right. I've witnessed it for so long. I believe you can. Uh, Help my unbelief. Yeah. Yes. Help my unbelief. Yeah. Praise God. 
When Jesus saw the people came running together, he rebuked the foul spirit, saying unto him, Thou dumb and deaf spirit, I charge thee, come out of him and enter no more into him. And the spirit cried and rent him sore and came out of him. And he was as one dead, insomuch that many said he is dead. But Jesus took him up, took him by the hand and lifted him up, and he arose. Praise Amen. God. Praise God. Praise God. Forever changed. Huh? Amen. Forever healed. Hallelujah. But getting back to the woman sick with the issue of blood. This woman felt no need to have a conversation with Jesus. She didn't feel the need to implore or beg. She just made up her mind. All I need to do is touch with the hem of his garment. Yes. 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 I'm not going to cry out. I'm not going to beg. I don't even need to see him face to face. I'm not trying to draw attention to myself. I just want to touch him. Amen. Because if I can touch him, yes, sir. just the hem of his garment, if I can just touch his clothes, I'll be made whole. Yes. Praise God. Yes. What faith God. came into this woman's heart. If I can just the situation, no matter the problem, no matter the circumstance, no matter the illness, if you can get close enough. If you can make your way to where he is. Oh, yeah. And I've got some good news for you. Let me give you some good news. Praise God that they should seek the Lord. This is Acts, amen, this is Acts chapter 17, verse 27. That they should seek the Lord and happily that they might feel after him and find him, though he be not far from every one of us. All right. Amen. He's not very far away, folks. That's it. Yes, sir. Amen. Come on. I said he's not very far away. You don't have to go beyond the Milky Way to find him. Amen. You can find him because he's She said, amen, in substance, I'm sick of who I am. Amen, I'm, I'm sick of what I am, and I'm sick of where I am. I need a change. I've got to have a change in my life. Amen, I, I don't want to stay where I am. I don't want to stay how I am. Amen, I don't want to stay what I am, praise God. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. I've got to touch him. Yes, and sometimes from getting from one point to the next point is not an easy task. There are some challenges that we go through. There are some obstacles that have to be overcome. Amen. That there are some amen situations, amen, that have to be, amen, conquered. Praise God. 
Amen. But we got to move. We got to move. We got to get up. We got to do something. Yes, sir. Hallelujah. Amen. When blind Bartimaeus heard that Jesus was coming by, amen, that they, and he stood up and began to scream out and cry out, Jesus, thou son of David, have mercy on me. Amen. Some of the folks said, sit down and shut up. He said, it ain't time to sit down. There you go. Right. It's not time to shut up. Amen. And it's just time for me to get the attention, amen, of Jesus Christ. Amen. If it's going to be, it's up to me. I've got to cry out for myself. Amen. Can I preach to us this morning that it's not about you and everybody else. It's not about me and everybody else. It's about you and Jesus and what you need Jesus to do in your life and how bad you want your blessing. Come on. How bad do you want your healing? Oh, yes. uh -huh. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Praise God. And sometimes, amen, we just have to get up and get what we know God can do. Get up from where you are. Amen. If you're here this morning, you have not received the baptism of the Holy Ghost. There's only one reason why you have not. Amen. Come on, help me now. Right, I'm going to step out here in some deep water. All right. Amen. If you're here and you don't have the baptism of the Holy Ghost, there's only one reason why. It's because you haven't gotten up from where you are. Amen. And come to this altar. Amen. You've not repented of your sins. Praise God. You've not asked God to forgive you of your unrighteousness. Amen. You have not asked God for forgiveness. Amen. The Bible said repent and be baptized every one of you in the name of Jesus Christ for the remission of sins and you shall receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. Amen. I, I challenge you. Amen. If you'll get up from where you are. Praise God, but you've got to get up. you got to say, I'm not staying here no more. Praise God. Amen. And let me clarify, there is a time to wait on the Lord. We all know that. We all know that the time to stand still. Amen. There's a time, amen, to wait patiently on God. Amen. But can I preach to you? I believe there are times, amen, that the Lord is waiting on us. The Lord is waiting on you. How bad do you want it? How bad, how willing are you to go get it? How willing are you? The Bible said the kingdom of heaven suffered violence and the violent take it by force. Amen. you got to be willing to go. Amen. Through the obstacles, you got to be willing to fight. Amen. With your, with your faith, praise God. Amen. So how bad do you want your blessing? Hallelujah. Praise God. Bad enough to press through the obstacles. Amen. Enough. Amen. That you don't care what anybody else thinks. Praise God. Hallelujah. Enough that you will reach out and reach up to touch him. It might not be easy, but it will be worth it. Yes, sir. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. I can see this little frail lady. Amen. She gets there, crowd, multitude around Jesus. And Jesus takes a step, and the multitude takes a step with him. Amen. He's right in the middle, amen, of the multitude. Amen. There's no convenient way to get to him. Sometimes we look for convenience. We want it to come to us, we want it to be convenient. Amen. We want to take, amen, the little microwave hamburger out of the freezer, praise God. Pop the plastic off of it, throw it in the microwave, push a button, and instantly we got just a super good, unnutritious meal. All right. Hallelujah. Yeah. Sometimes we, we want it easy. We want it convenient. Amen. But sometimes to get a hold of God, Sometimes to get what we know he can do is not convenient or easy. Come on. Uh -huh. Amen. 
There's got to be something in us, amen, that says, I will not let you go until you bless me. Oh, yes. Amen. The angel of the Lord said to Jacob, you got to let me go. The sun's coming up. And I ain't smart enough to figure all that out. Amen. But I do know this. Amen. He said, no, there's no way. There's no way. Come on, somebody. There's no way I'm letting go. There's no way I'm giving up. There's no, I've got to have. You've got something I need. And I'm going to let you go till I get it. Praise God. He wrestled with the angel all night long. Amen. I, I, can't, I can't give up. That's it. I cannot surrender, yes, amen, to my past. I cannot surrender. Yes, sir. Amen. There's some things that I'll have to, I need that you have as a blessing you got for me. Amen. And you can change everything right now, this very moment. Praise God. Oh. Amen. That, that you prevail, that you have overcome. Amen. Your power with God. Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Praise God. Amen. And she pushed her way. She pressed her way to the crowd. Amen. And people looked at her and said, what are you doing? People looked down at her with scornful eyes. Amen. She had an odor about her that was uncontrollable. Amen. They looked at her with disdain. Amen. But she said, I don't care. Your opinion of me does not matter. Amen, because I'm fixing to get my miracle. I'm fixing to get my deliverance. I'm fixing to get my healing. Everything's about to change. Amen, so you just pardon me. Amen, if I disrupt your comfort zone, I'm sorry. Amen. Maybe she had to elbow some folks. Amen, maybe she had to push through the crowd. Amen, maybe she had to get down on her hands and knees. Yes, sir. All right. And she got close enough to him. The stock he's running through my mind is not in the Bible, so... I don't want to be accused of adding to the scripture by no means, but it's in my, in my cranium up here. That and two other things. Hallelujah. What if, Brother Webb, it was just a thread hanging down off the hem of his garment? What if it was just a thread hanging down about three or four inches? And all she did just reach out. It was just the tip of her finger. Oh, oh yeah. Oh. Just brushed against the thread. That's all it takes. Yes, sir. Oh, yes. Praise God. And when she touched. Oh, thank you. Oh. Doesn't say she cried. Oh, my God. Says she touched. And as soon as she died, there was a connection, the virtue of Jesus went into her body and immediately, immediately, she was made whole. Praise God. And so much that she knew, huh? in her body that she was whole. Just strength came. Yes, sir. Vitality came. Oh, come on. Oh, Clarity of mind came. Hallelujah. Everything changed and yes, it's so much that she trembled because she knew. Then Jesus said, who touched me? They said, the disciples said, Lord, the multitude, look at the multitude. They're thronging you, which means they're all over you. They're bumping into you. They're, they're grabbing at you. They want to pat you on the back. They want to take you by the arm. Amen. They want to feel you. They want to be close to you. Amen. What do you mean? Who touched me? Uh -huh. uh, he said, he could have said in substance, hey, I ain't talking about somebody who bumped into me. I'm talking about somebody who reached for me. There you go. Yeah. That had a purpose yes, sir. for yes. touching me. Yes. Yes. A reason for reaching out. Glory to God. Praise God. Amen. That's why we can come to church. We can feel the presence of the Lord. But go home the same way we came. Yes, 